Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoyed your New Year's. Today's video is what I got for Christmas. This is something new. I don't think I have ever done this like previously in the previous years. Mostly because I tend to like put all the stuff that I get on like Snapchat or Instagram or whatever the case is. I tend I like I'm not shy about the things I receive and I'm not trying to be snooty or snobby by any means. I just, you know, when you're excited for something, you want to share it. You want people to share in your excitement. And if you're not for these types of videos or you just feel like, I'm rubbing it in your face or you're feeling like I'm some sort of snob or whatever then stop watching my video like I don't really care and I just say this because a lot of my friends on Facebook that I'm friends with um always talking shit about people who put stuff that they buy on Instagram or Snapchat whether it be a small purchase or a big purchase I mean I'm not against it I feel like if you receive something and you want to share it with people because you're excited about something by all means go for it because I'm excited for you I want to share in your excitement I want you to share in my excitement you know like I don't know I'm a happy person I'm a positive person so what else if you're a hater then peace out girl scout Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys, because this seemed to be like the thing that people were replying to me the most. Um, I did get like six pair of new undies for Xmas. Um, some of them I had already gotten them previously because like my mom, like I just used my mom's card and I got them shipped to me or whatever. These two undies, I don't have all of them because I've already worn some of them. It's like the third day in January, but um, I got some diesel underwear. This is like my favorite guys. Like I walked into diesel and they had the jog strap and it is the cutest thing ever. And just for you personally, that like hit me up on Snapchat or Instagram being like model that for me. Um, no. But this jock strap is like the cutest thing ever. Normally I hate striped underwear. Like it is just so tacky in my head. Like I don't, if you wear striped underwear, like no offense to you. I just like personally don't like them. Like I'm not drawn to striped underwear. But in this case, I love it because it's like a little rainbow. Like, I don't know. I just love this jock strap. Like I couldn't stop myself. Moving on. The next thing I got and my mom actually got this for me because working at Sephora, people return stuff all the time. And a lot of stuff that they buy online, they will return it in store and sometimes we don't carry those items in store. So whenever there's an online purchase that gets returned, if it's new and it's unused, we got first dibs on it, especially me being a cash at the cash register. Like if I like something and you're returning it, I'm probably gonna put it on hold for myself. Anyway, this lady came in and returned like four or five Pat McGrath um, sets. And at first I was like totally not interested. Like I was just like, like whatever, because the only ones they had was the bright red ones. And I don't really typically wear bright red lipsticks. So I was kind of like, eh, I'll pass. But then I got bored at Cash Wrap, guys. Like, I'm literally just like standing there sometimes when there's like no people in the store. So then I started like looking at everything, and then I saw that they actually had a nude one. Like, she returned a nude one, and I had no idea. And the moment I saw this, I put it on hold. I didn't even have money for it. I called my mom during work, like on my break, and I was like, Mom, there's a Pat McGrath nude lip set. I need it. It's like limited edition. Please give it to me, or please buy it for me. And she sent me half the money, so I was able to, like, I paid for half, she paid for half. So it's technically a Christmas present still. And since I do sell, and I'm a fashion designer the sequences actually come in handy I'll be using these um, for something in the future the next thing I got that my mom actually sent me money to buy and I got this to QVC because it was the best deal on the internet and if you haven't heard about QVC I normally talk about this in most of my monthly favorites it was my way of being able to afford prestigious makeup without you know well with still being able to afford you know lunch on the daily when I was in college so that's the reason I love QVC because they do have easy payments this however I did not purchase on easy payment but they did have the best deal in terms of Clarisonic I went on QVC.com and I got a Clarisonic. This is the light pink version. It's the Mia 2. I absolutely love the color. I didn't think I was going to like it because online it looks so light. But when I got it in person, I absolutely love it. I love a light pink. And what makes it a deal is that for $130, yes, $130, not only do you get a Mia 2, you also get five brush heads. Which guys, if you don't have a Clarisonic or you have no idea what a Clarisonic is, it is a cleansing brush. It is like the number one in America. It is like their renowned brand. And each brush head is like $30 when you want to replace it. So I got five of them guys, like four and the five, the one that's on. I believe it's two deep pour and one like polishing. I'm not entirely sure, but if you don't know, like I said, $30 each, I got them basically for free with the Clarisonic, which is unheard of. Like even at work, we had a Clarisonic sale and I think it was $130 and it only came with one brush head and like a small travel size cleanser. So definitely check that out. Thanks mom for my new Clarisonic. I absolutely love it. I will say though, I've been using it for two days 
face night and day I know you're only supposed to use it like once twice maybe three times a week but I've been using it every day um someone told me that I have to build tolerance for it my skin is starting to get slightly irritated like I'm starting to get like red marks all over however my skin is super smooth it's like I don't even know how to describe it so I'm trying to build up the tolerance if you're if you have any tips on the Clarisonic let me know down below because it's unlike a first time user I've never used it before in my life I do have super sensitive skin the next thing I got from Bay was the Tardis Pro palette and the Tardis Glow palette now if you don't know we're against now these were a steal because we're against where we got discounts and specifically I had 40% off of Tarte so I asked Bay and yeah I got them I'm so excited I basically paid the price of one palette for both of them and I was so excited um I will say that the Tardis Pro palette I don't really use it as much as I thought I was going to I do like this metallic color but I don't tend to use that many eyeshadows and because they're mostly matte I think that's what makes me not use it as much but the metallic ones like when I go out those are like bomb and I definitely use this when I do like my roommate's makeup and if you don't know who my roommate is Danielle check out my best friend's this, however, the Pro Glow palette, I'm obsessed with guys like. I don't even use my Urban Decay palette anymore. I don't use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped palette anymore. I literally strictly use this and I am obsessed. The contour shade, the sculpt shade, is amazing. Like, it gives the most amazing contour color ever. It's not like warm, it's not too neutral. It's like the perfect shade for me. As far as the like highlighting shades, I use Strobe on my roommate because she's more fair complexion, but on myself, if I want something more natural but super highlighted, I use Fire, which is a beautiful bronzy rose tone and if I want to go for like I'm going out that night I use stunner which is like this beautiful pearl color I'm just absolutely obsessed with this I have not put this down since I got it the next thing I got also from Bray and this is probably the oh no this is not the last thing I got it is an iPad Pro yes a fucking iPad Pro so the story behind this is that they got me an Apple watch in gold and if y'all know me at all I need everything needs to match like I am such a matchy person and I get this from my mom and I used to hate her for it and then I realized that I become my mother. I got a gold eye watch and I was just like, this is not happening. Like, I need a rose gold eye watch. Unfortunately, they were all sold out, but they had the iPad Pro in stock. And if you know me, I have been wanting an iPad Pro for like forever since it came out. So I got an iPad Pro, call me spoiled, call me a bitch, but I am literally so OCD and I get anxiety if my things aren't matching. Like, how can I have a rose gold eye watch and have a gold watch? Like, it's just weird. Like, that just doesn't go. If it's an Apple product, everything has to be like one color. So my iPad Pro matches my iPhone. So I'm super excited. I also got a smart cover case, which is like a little stand that you can also like turn into a stand and it'll like sit your iPad up. This I believe is in the shade like light pink or something. I just absolutely love it. It makes it look so sophisticated and it protects your screen. Anyway, ever since I've gotten this, I have not stopped reading. I have never had time to read before and right now I am just finding so much time to read and I absolutely love it because I am, I love to read and I don't even like to read like, well I like to read all sorts of books but right now I've been reading a lot of young adult books which is like my thing because like it lets me like escape real life for like just a minute while I'm like reading and it makes me have like crazy nightmares at night like last night I was having some crazy nightmares like I was so scared and I was having like sleep paralysis guys like literally I would wake up and could not move my body I was like scared shitless I literally woke up turned on a night lamp and I don't normally sleep with a night lamp but I turned it on because I was like scared out of my wits with my dreams and I don't even go into detail but like let me know what your craziest sleep paralysis story is down below because I was just like oh hell no not tonight Satan the next thing I got is a bunch of coffee and a coffee like little stand bam, bam. and like this side is empty because I haven't like put new ones in there but I got I got like a 48 pack of these like donut shop regular coffee just because I love it so much obsessed the stand is so cute guys like I, I can't get over it like so cute and because I already showed you that the next thing I got this is my last gift guy is a fucking Keurig a Keurig Yes, I got a Keurig. And this is the Keurig Hot. I believe it's like the 2.0 or something. Yeah, the 2.08 K200 Plus. Absolutely obsessed with it. At first, I had no idea how to fucking use it. I am not a coffee... Well, I am a coffee person, but I'm not like a coffee at home because I've never had a Keurig before. Norm I used to go to like Starbucks every morning. I was like your typical like... Well, I was going to say like typical gay boy, but that, that, there's no such thing. Anyway, I was that bitch in class, like in college with like my Starbucks cup every morning and people like with their like 50 cent coffee from like gas station like hate me, whatever, but I needed my Starbucks every morning. And not to say that I haven't had coffee from the gas station, but I just, this sounds so awful, but I literally had my dad's credit card saved onto my Starbucks account online. So I would just like refill my card with his credit card and he would like never notice. Well, he did notice and then like he like canceled his card or whatever. But you know what? I love Starbucks. So that was me every morning and now I have Keurig every morning. Like literally every morning I wake up and I'm so excited to make myself some coffee using my Keurig. And I, I love it. And I love that I got the silver version because it's just, it's so sleek, so sophisticated. Like I'm obsessed and it goes with like our whole um, apartment. I will 
will be doing an apartment tour soon. I just, we're still decorating. It's been like four months and we're still like, oh, my roommate's buying most of the stuff. She really wanted to like decorate the living area and I let her. I had furniture at home, but I could have brought it, but she told me she wanted to do it. So I'm just letting her do her thing. But yeah, it's not ready yet. It doesn't feel like home just yet. So we're still working on that. Um, I did buy patio furniture, stuff like that. I think it's like more little like the small little decorations that we're like still needing. So that's why I haven't done an apartment tour with you guys. I will be doing a room tour soon, but I, okay guys, with like work and everything, I have not gotten around to like cleaning my room and today I kind of like polished it up just a little bit but I'm still having to like really like deep scrub and whatnot like oh and it gives me so much anxiety every time I go into my room but I'm always so tired to like do any of this stuff like today is the first day where I'm actually sitting here and like not doing anything and it just feels so amazing and I have some dresses to fix up and fix for my internship and it's just crazy another gift that I got for Christmas that I am being a little bit more subtle about and I'm not really talking about it is I did get my lips done so if you're wondering why my lips look extra juicy or plumpy that is why I did go to a doctor in West Hollywood. And the reason I went to her specifically is because I saw Gabriel Zamora, which is a fellow YouTuber from Houston, and I'm from Texas as well. Got his video, he got it done, he filmed everything, and I was just like, I need to get my lips touched up. It, I haven't gotten my lips touched up since July, which is the first time I got lip injections, and my bottom lip started to lose its plumpness, and I started to get lines on my lips, which is like a huge pet peeve for me because I hate like the wrinkles on my lips. Or I had them before, but after getting lip injections, you just prefer that. And so I went and got touched up, and that was my Christmas gift to myself. Um, I'm absolutely happy with the results. She really knew what she was talking about. She told me she was going to give me pillow lips and I absolutely love them. And if you want to know more information on who I went to, I went to Dr. Zara in West Hollywood. The information will be down in the description box. If you're a first time client, you will get $100 off. So that's insane and it's amazing. It, it, she also does offer half an injection so you don't have to pay for a full price of a full injection. You can pay for just half of it, which is much cheaper. Sometimes we only need half. Like for my next touch up, I'm only going to get half, but right now I needed like my bottom lip was just way smaller than my top lip and I needed I needed to get this fixed girl but yeah I absolutely love my lips I am obsessed at the moment um they're still slightly swollen so they will shrink a little bit more but I'm absolutely obsessed I got Juvederm Voluma or XC or something like that in the past I got Restylane and Silk which I absolutely loved but they told me that I was gonna love this Juvederm better and I have to say guys I'm, I'm liking it much better it doesn't feel bulky like um Restylane did I don't even know how to describe the feeling but if you have gotten lip fillers you'll know and if you have any questions let me know down below um but yeah that basically concludes today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys share in my excitement and let me know what you got for Christmas down below. Don't have any shame guys. If you got like a fucking car you let me know. I will be excited for you and I hope you're excited for me and I hope you had some wonderful holidays and I hope y'all are getting back into that workflow and let me know what your New Year's resolution was for 2017. My New Year's resolution was don't die and make money. I'm trying to keep it simple like I'm not trying to make all these crazy goals that I can't keep or accomplish because I don't know where my life is taking me at the moment. I do have a photo shoot coming up tomorrow. I'm super excited excited about that. Um, I'm shooting with a client that I actually met through work and she liked how I looked, I guess. And she literally called my work and asked me to collab with her. And so I have a photo shoot in the morning. I'm so excited. But yeah, I have some great stuff coming up. Um, I'm looking, I'm still looking for a design internship. I don't know if Sephora is going to keep me. Hopefully they do. But if they don't, it just means that Sephora wasn't part of my future for 2017. And I can't be bummed out about that. And if they do keep me, then I'll be excited because I actually do like working at Sephora. But yeah, that's my life. That's my Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays and I hope y'all are doing well. Until next time guys, DJF Panda out.